Hi, welcome to Citizen Survival Plan. In today's video, we're going to go over the BTEC 50X2. We sell this on our website. It comes pre-programmed, and this is the video on how to hook it up. The first thing I'm going to do is just get the radio out of the box, because that is where we're going to start. This box is going to come with a bunch of cables and stuff into that. We're going to get that in one second. But to start, we're just going to pull the radio out, and we want to focus on how do I turn it on? You're going to have a connection like this at the back, and this interfaces in a couple different ways with the power supplies that we use. In the box, there is a cable that's going to look like this. It is open cut, and if you were to buy it from the manufacturer, it's going to look like that, and it's going to have the connection on the back to connect to the radio. Now, when you get them from me, we'll cut them like this. Your positive and negative terminal are going to look like this. I'm going to put my own loop ends on there because I need it to connect to a power supply. Whether you're using the BTEC or the SkyTop power in our Amazon list, this is what that's going to look like. And your wiring is already going to be cut to interface with a power supply. So the loop end goes on and this simply screws on and tightens up. And when you put it on, just pay attention to positive negative. The red wire goes to the red and the black wire goes to the black and you tighten them up exactly the same. You're going to note that the cable here is going to plug right into that. If I can get it. <laughs> it goes right in just like that. And now we are ready to provide power to the radio by turning the power supply on. And this should just kick on, but there is a power button right here and you just tap that to turn it on. If you provide power and it, it just doesn't turn on, there is a power button to that. Now, the second way we can power this radio on, and again, this is in the Amazon list provided on the website and in the link to this video, this interfaces with a BioNO battery. So this is a BioNO battery pack. It is designed to power radios. It has an Anderson power pole connector on it. So you plug it in, obviously red to red and black to black, positive, negative. And this has the same connector on it. So we can now power the radio off of a battery pack. One note I want to make is the charger is typically sold separately, again, included in the links and the charger plugs into the wall. This is the charge cable, and that is the charge cable for the battery. So anytime you need to charge this up, you can. This is sort of a demo table I have here. Your setup's gonna be a little different. So the connectors from the radio and that interface cable that we just plugged in. So now we have the interface cable plugged in and we are plugged into the battery. We're gonna tap that power button and our radio is gonna come on. This one is already all programmed up. So the next thing I want to do is show you some of the menu and the watch features on this just really quick, just so you understand when you get it, how to use it. So the mic just plugs into the front here. And when you get these from me, the top two channels are going to be your watch channels, meaning it's listening to the top two channels. So right now it's listening to GMRS 7 and two at the same time. Let me demonstrate. If you notate this little arrow is indicating we are on transmit for GMRS7, meaning my A channel, my top channel is gonna transmit when I key seven up. So just to demonstrate, let's transmit to channel two and I have an antenna hooked up to this off screen and you'll see it will start listening to channel two but it immediately goes back to GMRS7. So when I wanna transmit, it's gonna go right back to seven. There is settings in here. If you want it to watch all four channels at once, you can, but I find it very confusing and I set it up in a nice simple way when you receive it. So some of the settings on this radio you're gonna to wanna to mess with and how to change the channels and stuff is the first one I'm gonna start with is if you push this lock button, you will see it will change the power to low or high, indicated by an L or an H. The next thing you can do is just change channels. So either up, down on the arrow key here, or you can change the channel with this. 
Now, if you want to change the selected four channels you have on the screen, you can hit exit there or on the mic. They do the same thing. This radio does come equipped with an FM radio, and you can listen to the FM radio at any point in time. Now, when it listens to the FM radio, if anyone were to transmit on, let's say if I'm on GMRS 5, it will cut the FM radio off and it will pick up the transmission. So the FM radio is listening right now and if I were to transmit from another radio, you'll see it's now going to pick that up instead of the radio. And if you give it a second, it will go right back to listening to the FM radio. Disable cell towers. Another thing you might want to do on this is frequency mode. So this allows you to type in any frequency you want from the keypad and or cycling through on the dial. And the last thing you're going to want to do with your pre-programmed radio is scan all channels. This can be accomplished by simply holding the scan button down until it starts to scan. One of the last things you're going to need to do is get an antenna high up in the air. Now we have all this in the Amazon list. These are aluminum push poles anywhere from 19 feet to 33 feet. And the one shown here is actually just in a deck umbrella holder, which we'll also list. This is a great way to get an antenna up high and also being able to take it down when bad weather comes through. And then last on this is just ground it. This is a ground that we have set up. It is a copper rod and it has a lightning arrestor in it and that lightning arrestor connects into the ground rod and will send the lightning downward if it was ever hit by lightning. One of the best ways to protect yourself from this also is just disconnecting your coax cable. So that is how to get started with your BTEC 50X2. Again, in the Amazon list, we have all the products that we use to do all those things. So thank you for purchasing a pre-programmed radio from me. If you need any help, you can always visit our website, call, or email me for any assistance. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.